I have been inspired by the words and the work and the life of J.R.R. Tolkien since I was a teenager. And I want to share right now a moment of his greatest inspiration. This is going to take us back to when he was an undergraduate at Oxford University. This is about 1914. A very young John Ronald Rule Tolkien stumbled on a single line from an 8th century Anglo-Saxon poem called Christ by Cynewulf. This line haunted him. It formed part of a series of poetic meditations inspired by the O antiphons. They were used at Vespers uh, in the last seven days of Advent. So I love the fact that this is sort of a liturgical, prayerful experience. This poem was rooted in it. The line was, and I'm going to go full Anglo-Saxon on you, Ella erendel engla beortast, offer middengard monem sended. Hail Arendelle, brightest of angels, over Middle Earth sent unto men. Tolkien later shared in his life that these were rapturous words from which sprang my entire mythology. His entire, the Silmarillion, the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit, his works, his works that have touched well over 200, 300 million people throughout the world throughout the last few decades. It's rooted in this poem. He writes, and uh, this is Carpenter's biography of Tolkien, I felt a curious thrill as if something had stirred in me, half wakened from sleep. There was something very remote and strange and beautiful behind those words, if I could grasp it, far beyond the ancient English. So Arendelle is the key word, the key name that later becomes part of his mythology, and he's a kind of a heroic figure, a Christ-like figure, who brings the help of angelic powers to Middle-earth to defeat evil. This is part of our Christian tradition, this battle between good and evil. It came to Tolkien as a young man through a poem uh, about Advent. You can see that these great stories of Tolkien, these great myths, this legendarium of his, is saturated with the gospel. So as we move through our day, as we find ourselves bombarded by words, let's ask the Lord to help us to focus on the one word, right? What is the one word? Be attentive to the word the Lord wants to speak to you today and receive it and let it bear fruit in you. Let's be more and more attentive to the way God speaks to us. Perhaps it might burst into some incredible fruitfulness, some incredible creativity. Best of all, it'll land in our hearts and start to form a deeper peace. If you enjoyed this story and some of these other stories about Tolkien and C.S. Lewis, I hope that you can join me at the end of July for a pilgrimage to England. We are going to Oxford. We are going to the beautiful English countryside, to pubs and to places of worship. We're going to see all the sights and walk in the footsteps of C.S. Lewis, Tolkien, and G.K. Chesterton. To learn more about this amazing trip coming up this summer of 2024, go to tobpilgrimages.com.